They said it was impossible and they were wrong. Uncover how auto-suggestion can overcome even the deepest self-doubt and pave your way to success. Welcome to the Think and Grow Rich in 10 Minute series, your quick ticket to cracking the code to this legendary book inspired by Napoleon Hill's timeless wisdom. Each episode in the series is a power-packed 10-minute nugget for each step designed to help you reshape your thinking and supercharge your journey to success. And today we are talking about step three, auto-suggestion. Can what you say to yourself, this self-suggestion, really shape your reality? Or is it just some bunch of woo-woo crap meant for dreamers? Imagine me at 15 on my own, living in the streets in places that felt far from a home. Now I had dreams, a life of freedom to live and just be able to breathe. This wasn't some far off dream. This was the reality that I was reaching for and eventually achieved. Thanks to the philosophies in Think and Grow Rich and its keystone tool, auto-suggestion. This is an incredible technique that helped me bridge the massive gap between the cold, hard streets and the warm, inviting glow of a life filled with joy. It's not just woo-woo crap about dreaming. It's about transforming those dreams into new realities. And stick around and I'll show you how transforming your thoughts can transform your life. We'll dive into the secret that successful people have been using since the beginning of mankind. Now, don't just watch or listen. Absorb and apply what you're about to learn. Your future self will thank you. All right, so let's break down. So even if you've never heard of auto-suggestion, you'll get it quicker than you can say, show me the money. Now, let's kick things off with a crystal clear definition. Auto-suggestion is essentially a method that you can use to teach your subconscious mind to believe in something. And in this case, your ability to generate success. It's like programming a computer, but the computer is your subconscious mind and the programming language is auto-suggestion. This is what I call neurohacking. Now, why does this matter? Well, whether you're aware of it or not, your thoughts are the architects of your destiny. That's right. The thoughts lounging around in your conscious mind just waltz right into your subconscious and start dictating your actions, your habits, and ultimately, your results. It's like when you tell yourself, I'm going to have a great day and suddenly it looks a little bit brighter. Or on the flip side, you wake up on the wrong side of the bed, grumble about your impeding doom, and lo and behold, doom shows up at your doorstep. But how, you ask, do I make sure my subconscious mind is on board with all this positivity stuff? And that is a great question, and it's all about the vibes that you send down. No thought be it cheerful or gloomy, can sneak into your subconscious mind without the VIP pass of auto-suggestion. This means you've got to be deliberate about the thoughts that you're allowing to take root. But wait, I hear you cry. You're telling me I can control what gets into my subconscious? Absolutely, my soon-to-be success magnets. Your conscious mind is like the bouncer at the club of your subconscious. It can let in the high vibes and boot out the riffraff. But here's the truth. Most people aren't using this power at all. They're letting any old thought slip in and usually the thoughts of those around them, which is why they're about as successful, well, as the people around them. Imagine your mind as a garden and if you plant seeds of wealth, guess what? You'll grow a money tree. But if you let the weeds of doubt and fear take over, you'll be gardening in the desert, my friends. Auto-suggestion is your gardening tool, letting you plant whatever seed that you desire. Remember those six steps that we talked about in, in the step one episode? And if you haven't listened to that, go back and take a listen to the step one. Those steps are like your gardening guidebook. You've got to follow them with the precision of a brain surgeon and the enthusiasm of a kid on Benadryl. This is where you take your dreams of success from yeah, right, to F, yeah, it is happening. And it all starts with reading and embodying your statement of desire with emotion every single day. Why? Because when you do this, you're not just wishing, you're instructing your subconscious mind to get with the program and start growing some success. But here's where a lot of people trip up. They think that just by saying the words is enough and that's a big fat nope. 
auto-suggestion doesn't work that way. But don't just take my word for it. Napoleon Hill himself said, if you repeat a million times the famous Emil Quay formula, day by day, in every way, I'm getting better and better. Without mixing emotion and faith with your words, you will experience absolutely no desirable results. In other words, you can't just go through the motion and expect stuff to happen. You've got to feel it in your bones, believe it with every fiber of your being, and take massive action towards your goals. If you're just mouthing the words like a bored teenager at the family dinner, your subconscious mind is going to ignore you quicker than your significant other. And for me, that's quick. And don't even get me started on persistence. This isn't a one and done deal. You've got to stick with it like glue, with the tenacity of a bill collector and the persistence of a two-year-old wanting a cookie. Remember that? Dad, can I have a cookie? Dad, can I have a cookie? Dad, I want a cookie. Dad, Dad. It's not always easy, but hey, is climbing Mount Everest easy? I don't think so. But the view from the top, I'm sure, is worth every single moment. Now let's dive a bit deeper. You're not just going to sit there, close your eyes, and wish for a bag of cash to fall into your lap. No, you're going to visualize this money, feel it, smell it. Yes, smell it. Use every sense that you have. You're going to see yourself earning this money through the services or the value that you provide. This isn't fantasy. It's visualization. It's self-suggestion. And it's as crucial as putting gas in your car. But what about when you're not sure how to do it? This is one of the biggest questions that I get. And that's where the beauty of auto-suggestion shines. You don't wait for the perfect plan to fall from the sky. You start with the belief, the absolute faith that the success is already yours. And then you keep your eyes peeled for the plan. It might come to you in a shower, on a walk, or in the middle of the night. But when it does, you act on it faster than a squirrel on espresso. And here's the thing about plans. They might not make sense to your rational mind, and they probably won't, and that's okay. Your rational mind doesn't know how to get there. Otherwise, you would already be there. But your subconscious, that's where the magic happens. So trust those gut feelings, those sudden inspirations, and go for it. Autosuggestion isn't just some fancy term. It's a way of life. It's the golden key to unlocking the treasure chest of your mind. And the treasure isn't just the kind that jiggle and fold. It's the realization that you have the power to shape your reality, to turn your dreams into your bank balance. Remember, this isn't just about getting rich. It's about understanding and mastering the incredible machine that is your mind. So plant those seeds of success, water them with faith and emotion, and then, my friends, watch your garden grow beyond your wildest dreams. And I would say in conclusion, but actually, there is no conclusion. This journey of mastering your thoughts and transforming your life is ongoing. But as you continue to apply these principles of auto-suggestion, remember, the only limits that exist are the ones that you acknowledge. So what are you waiting for? Start auto-suggesting your way to success and let's make those dreams a reality.